Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys an unboxing from Stitch Fix. You guys know I love Stitch Fix so much and I know a lot of you guys do as well. You guys have been asking me where my new Stitch Fix video is so I just got my box in when I got home today. I threw on some makeup, I'm getting ready to go to dinner and I wanted to film this so I can get it up and edited for you on Monday hopefully. Uh, if you guys are not familiar, Stitch Fix is a monthly subscription clothing service. They have jewelry and accessories as well they also carry men's they have all kinds of women's pieces so they have plus they have petite they have straight sizes I think they have maternity they have children's now um, with Stitch Fix it does cost $20 but for that $20 is credited towards your account so if you were to purchase an item you do get $20 towards it your stylist is picking pieces based on a questionnaire that you fill out online that questionnaire is very detailed so it does ask you questions like what's your size your weight your height but I also ask questions like, do you like skirts? Do you like dresses? What like what parts of your body do you mind showing off? Uh, do you need accessories? Do you need shoes? Do you like uh, like animal prints? Do you like stripes? Like, do you like the color green? Like that type of stuff. So it is very detailed, but I think it is really helpful that way it really gets like lets your stylist know like what your style is if you guys are ever struggling with stitch fix i would recommend linking your pinterest or like creating a pinterest if you don't have one and creating a style board that's what i do and i feel like that's the most beneficial to stylists so i have a specific board that is specifically like clothes related different styles that i like and a lot of the pieces are specifically stitch fix pieces so pieces that are sold at stitch fix or they were sold in the past and and that way my stylist can find specific pieces if those are still available they can send them to me or if that was like last year's piece or something like that then they can find something similar so I feel like that's really beneficial I'll link my Pinterest down below if you guys want to check it out I don't use it too much but I do have a board specific for styling if you guys are also interested in trying out stitch fix there will be a link in the description box down below as well but before we get started with this video if you guys are new make sure you subscribe give this video a big thumbs up especially if you love unboxings from stitch fix like I do I really enjoy watching stitch fix unboxings like they're probably one of my favorite to, like videos to watch I have tried out a bunch of other subscription services but stitch fix has always been my favorite so I do have a full playlist on my unboxings that I'll link down below as well uh before we get started if you guys are interested my top it's so cute it's like a burgundy sweater it's pretty thick actually i'm like dying with all these lights on and then it just has this like lace detail on the um arm it is from pink blush boutique i'll link it down below if you're interested i am going to style it on my instagram so make sure you check out my instagram if you guys haven't already i'll have it linked on the screen and it will be in the description box down below uh, my earrings are from Target. They're super cute. I don't know if they're available online. I did see them online a few weeks ago and that's where I found them and then they sold out and then I found them in store. So if they're available, I'll link them down below. They're from the brand A New Day. Y'all, I've been shopping so hard at Target lately. Like they have the cutest freaking fall stuff recently. So I've just been going ham, so my bad. But anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing this unboxing from Stitch Fix, then please keep watching. First piece we have is from the brand Paper Moon. This is the Carissa slit neck blouse and an extra large and it is $44. Now everything you guys are gonna see is in an extra large for the most part. That is my size at Stitch Fix. You guys are gonna see one piece that didn't fit me so well and an extra large, but for the most part, an extra large, extra large always does fit me at, at Stitch Fix. And my um, stats are always in the description box down below in case you are ever interested in my measurements. <laughs> so this is the piece. So it is a like white color top with florals all over it. So the florals are like uh, blue and pink and like black. Now I think these florals on this top are very like fall-like. So it is v-neck and the sleeves are short sleeve, but they're a nice like flowy sleeve. They don't cling to your arm at all. Not uncomfortable. So I really like this. And on the sides of this top, they are a bit shorter on the sides and then longer like in the front and in the back. I really like this piece a lot. I thought it fit really well. They did pair it with a cardigan, which you guys will see in the try on portion. And um, I really like both the cardigan and the top, but unfortunately the cardigan is very pricey. So 
Let me know what you guys think about this piece down below in the comments. Our next piece I have is a dress. I also really like this one as well. <sighs> it was a good box this month, I'll say. Only, like I said, one piece was a little bit pricey and one didn't fit the best, but other than that, I feel like it was a really good box. <laughs> so this is the from the brand Nine Britain, and this is the Nelsie knit dress in an extra large, and this is also $44. I will also write the names of all of the items I talk about in the uh, description box down below in case you guys do Stitch Fix and you want to request, request any of these. So this is a dress, as mentioned. It is short sleeve. It does have like a, I guess this is more like a scoop neck in the front. Uh, it feels almost like velvet like a faux velvet that's the way it's feeling if that makes sense um this one also has florals again to me this is more of like a fall floral in my opinion compared to like a summer floral which you know i love i did ask for a fall appropriate box and then this one just has a short sleeves on it and it just kind of goes down it's like a i would say it's like a t-shirt kind of style dress which i do really like uh, it does, it covers the buttons at a good length and it has pockets. Guys, no, I love pockets so much in my dresses, so I really do like this. I think it would look really, really cute with a pair of either like over the knee boots or like little booties. So I'm really thinking about keeping this piece. I do like the dress from before, or the top from before, um, but I feel like out of everything, I think this dress is my favorite. And it's not like there's anything too crazy about it. I just, I don't know, I'm just kind of into it. So let's get to this cardigan that I'm talking about, this pricey cardigan. So this is from the brand BB Dakota. It's the Odetta Open Pocket Cardigan in an extra large. And it's $88, y'all. $88 for a cardigan? You guys, you guys know I'm cheap. Like, I'm, I'll am i be the first to admit it. I am cheap. Like, if the, we don't have a coupon and things are not on sale, like, I'm probably not buying them. Like, if we're being real, I, I, I would never pay $88 for a cardigan. I would barely pay $88 for a pair of jeans. This cardigan is nice, but I wouldn't say it's like anything over the top where I feel like I would spend a hundred, like almost a hundred dollars on it. So it is a blush cardigan. It's very pretty. It has like white kind of specks all over it. It's super like cozy, but still lightweight. So it's perfect for the transition. I would be fine wearing it today where it's about 75 today. So I think I would still be okay wearing this. It's very like super soft. Like, so that's the good thing. I'm sure it's really great quality. I'm sure it is worth $88, but for me personally and my personal budget as of right now, I just can't spend $88 on a cardigan. It does have pockets in the front. Um, which we love and it's long it does cover the butt so you could easily wear this with leggings if you wanted to but again you guys i just i do like it i love the color like after this i'm on the hunt for a blush pink cardigan and i will find one you guys and i will let you know when i find like a dupe to this because now i'm on a mission but i do really like this it's just you know the price let me know in the comments below if you guys would spend 88 dollars on this cardigan or if you guys do spend the money like that on simple pieces like that so to me i would rather spend almost a hundred dollars probably on like a pair of shoes a bag a jacket a pair of jeans even i mean even like you guys know like jeans to me like i don't really like to spend more than like 50 on a pair of jeans but if they were the best pair of jeans ever in the entire world maybe i would spend 80 dollars but like I don't know even to me that's still a little high but let me know in the comments below like do you guys have like a specific item that you don't mind splurging on or are you guys all for like the higher quality pieces but like for me personally like i'm more of like a trendy piece person so like i buy pieces only for the season so i don't like to spend too much money but let me know in the comments below like how you guys are so this next piece i do really really like but unfortunately it is too small it is another sweater so this is the brand um, Moon in Madison. It's the Augustina back detail sweater in off-white and an extra large and it's $44 as well. Did you guys notice everything is $44 except that cardigan, isn't that weird? So I really, really like this sweater. I'm so upset it's not working for me. So it is an off-white sweater as we mentioned and then this is the back, it's really cool. It's all laced up. It's not a true like tie, so this doesn't untie at all. You can't like, see I feel like if I could like untie it and like 
loosen it it might work like honestly it's just kind of tight so it's very cute it's long sleeve it is v-neck in the front it's like a cable or not like cable knit but it is a knit sweater so you can see that knitting on it it's very pretty you can tell the quality is really nice in this but unfortunately it's just way too small I was considering because with Stitch Fix you can exchange items for a bigger or smaller size. This is from the straight size section so I'm pretty sure the largest size I'm going to be able to get is an extra extra large. But I mean I guess you guys can let me know in the comments below but like I think I actually need like even bigger than that. Like I think I need like two sizes up. Um, let me know what you guys think if you think I should exchange this for the bigger size. See, for me, cardigans, like, I want them to be more oversized, so I feel like even if I get the extra, extra large, it's still not going to be an oversized fit. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this. And so. last piece we have is the... This is from the brand Market and Spruce. This is the Mary Bell Bell Sleeve Knit Top in an Extra Large, and this one is $54. This is what this piece looks like. So it is a black blouse, and it does have these super pretty bell sleeves with the ruffle detail. And it's just a plain blouse. I mean, there's nothing really too much to it. It's a really great fit. I like the length of it as well. I think this would look perfect either tucked in or just like out like I showed you guys in the try-on. Um, but I don't think it's worth $54 and I think the quality is really nice I can tell that this is really great quality, but it's just a little too plain for me to spend that much money I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think like I absolutely need this piece or do you think I should pass? Like what are your thoughts? So that was actually all of the pieces that I got in this month's box So before we wrap up this video, I'm just gonna talk about the total with you guys uh, so if I were to keep all five pieces the total would be 274 so again 274 is a bit higher than my normal totals at stitch fix typically I spend or my totals are normally around 200 but I think with that cardigan being so pricey definitely you know put the total up higher um, the nice thing about stitch fix though if you do keep all five pieces you do get a 25% discount so with the 25% discount that brings my total down to 205.50 and then we do get that $20 styling free styling fee credited to our account. So that brings my total down to $185.50. So I don't think $185 is the worst for five pieces of really nice quality clothes. Um, again, I mean, even because that one sweater is $88 by itself. So I'm only paying $100 bucks for four other pieces, which I don't think is bad. The issue that I have with this box is unfortunately that off-white sweater, which I love, is just way too small for me and um the cardigan's just a little pricey so those were really my only issues with the box i liked everything else there were things i wasn't super crazy like the black top again i have a similar piece to it but i still really liked it and i liked the other pieces that i got as well but what do you think i should keep guys do you think i should keep the whole box do you think i should keep the dress like what are your thoughts let me know in the comments below i always truly love hearing from you guys i tell my friends all the time that I literally love making videos just so I can chat with all of you guys in the comments and I know a lot of you guys really love Stitch Fix so I really truly love sharing these. These are like my favorite videos to film because I know you guys are excited to see it and then that makes me even more excited. And if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Check out my Instagram again it will be linked in the description box down below. I will also have a link in the description box if you're interested in trying out Stitch Fix and I'll also have a list of all of the pieces I talked about today in case you're interested in requesting them from your Stitch Fix stylist. Let me know in the comments below what videos you guys are interested in seeing next. I do have some really fun videos planned for the next few weeks but if you guys have any additional video requests please let me know down below. Don't be shy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.